please don't take any skills from me because I'm not someone you should be looking up to when it comes to cooking. Hey guys, I'm Carolina and today is a pretty exciting day. I'm gonna be making family recipes for 24 hours. These have been passed down. These are all recipes that I've gathered from like different people from my family. I'm someone who's such a nostalgic person. So for me to be making family recipes, I feel like I am getting closer to my family and learning a little bit more about them. And especially right now when I can't really be with them all the time, it's comforting. This morning, we're gonna start gorditas. Not only gorditas, I'm gonna be making Salsa de Chile Serrano. I've grown a newfound love for that because I used to not like really spicy things. And my, like all of a sudden one day I was like, you know what? Bring on the salsa. For lunch, I'm going to be making tostadas, homemade tostadas. And by homemade, I mean I'm grabbing some tortillas from the supermarket, bringing them over here, and I am putting that those puppies on the pan. Super excited about that. I'm also going to be making agua de jamaica, which is such a staple in my family home. For a little in between lunch and dinner, we're going to be making my grandfather, may he rest in peace, ostiones ahumado, smoked oyster dish. Sounds kind of nasty, but let me tell you, it hits so hard. Like I literally love this appetizer. For dinner, courtesy of my agua and canina, hey girl. And we're making chiles rellenos. This is my favorite food in the entire world. And my grandma, without a doubt, whenever she knows that I'm gonna come over, she's always making chiles rellenos for me. So I have to make it in her honor. And then for dessert, we're gonna be making the best flan de nuez that I have ever had in my life. Shall we head to the kitchen, I guess? Let's go. Hey, call me. Also, just for the sake that my grandma might be watching this, I'm gonna put on the apron that she gave me because we don't want to get these clothes dirty. Let's get started. So I have my comal here. My grandma told me to use aluminum foil on it just so like the tomato and the pepper don't get stuck when you're making it. I'm gonna grab three tomatoes and then I'm gonna grab one chile serrano. Here's the thing about getting recipes from my grandparents is they don't measure anything. They just kind of like feel it out. And I'm a little crazy. So I would like to have measurements whenever I cook, but in this situation, I cannot. I'm also gonna add a piece of garlic to roast. Um, that's gonna give it a little bit extra flavor. My grandma also said that we have to kind of keep turning it. So you see how it's like fried right here? Um, we have to keep turning it so it's like that on all sides. And then we're gonna put it in the blender. I wish you can smell the aroma that is happening right now. It smells so good. So good. This is kind of what the color should look like at the end. It should be like this on all sides. We're gonna take a little bit of salt, like literally just like a little bit. Again, my grandma doesn't use measurements, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be using. Watch your ears. We're gonna give it a little taste. It's very tomatoey. It has like a slight hint of the pepper, but the garlic in this, so good. So for the gorditas, you need instant corn flour. I have a half cup of that. I have a cup of water. This one with water, we're just gonna add in moderation to see, cause we don't want it to be too liquidy or like not liquidy enough, cause then it starts to crumble. And then we have some salt that we're also gonna add in moderation. The fun thing about gorditas is you can use your hands. Also, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt. I have my masa here ready to go. I'm gonna make it into little gorditas. And I have my comal that's being preheated right now so we can add that on there. Let's get them popping. This is like what my gordita looks like. Thick, we like them thick. Oof, we're getting there. I wanna say that this gordita's done. It's very toasty on all sides, it's golden brown. I'm just waiting for this guy to be a little golden brownie. So while the other guy's getting all toasty woasty, that was disgusting, I hated that I said that. I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare my gorditas. So I've cut it in half. And what I like to do is I put butter in first. I put a little bit of butter and then I go ahead and I top it with the salsa I just made and then some crema mexicana, which I like absolutely love. So I'm gonna FaceTime my dad right now and show him 
what I done. Ay, mira lo que hice. Wow. <laughs> mira, está bien rico. Are you jealous? Yeah, very good. Send it by Uber. Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah, uh, he just asked if I could send these by Uber because he thinks they look good. So, I think I won. Mmm, I put a lot of cream in this one. The garlic from the salsa exploded in my mouth. And that's all I wanted, really. I would give myself like seven out of 10. It's lunchtime, you guys. I'm excited for lunch. We're gonna be making tostadas con jamón, crema, nopales. I'm also gonna be making agua de jamaica. That's hibiscus tea for those who don't know what that is. So these are the ingredients for the tostadas. So this is the nopal, my salsa, some ham. So when I make tostadas, I like to use tortillas, uh, especially the ones that are fresh from the supermarket because they're already kind of warm. So I toast those on my comal. I have onion and I have crema mexicana. So one of the ingredients that I'm using is nopales, which is cactus. You know what a cactus is, it has spikes on it. I don't trust myself taking care of all of that spike situation, the espinas. So I thankfully found these at a, uh, a supermarket that they already have them without espinas. So I'm just gonna rinse these and then I'm gonna put them in boiling water until they're like a little bit tender and a little bit loose. We're gonna put some onions in there, some garlic, just to give it some nice little flavors. And then we're gonna, while that's boiling, I'll make the agua de jamaica. So I'm gonna add one cup of hibiscus flowers. I, this is my one third cup, so I'm gonna use three of these. And then I have my three cups of water. We're gonna, and then we're gonna set this on high because we want it to boil. So we saw the nopales boiling. It's been like seven minutes and I put it on low when it started boiling. So it simmers for seven minutes. So now I'm gonna be adding the sugar. So I just got a little bit of like half of a third cup. So it's not completely one cup. So after you add the sugar and it's all mixed, you have to let it like cool. Just strain my nopales. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the tostadas. So I have my clean comal and I have my tortillas here that I'm just gonna make a little crunchy. So this is what my tostadas, my tortillas turned tostadas look like now. Did flip them by hand, so um, call me a Latina mom. So I have my jar of ice and I'm gonna do this over the sink because I don't trust myself. Remember when I said I don't trust myself? It's because I spilled, but it's fine. So let me try it and then grab my straw just to test it. It's very sweet, but we can add, always add more water to like dilute it. And I think I'm supposed to do that. So I have my tostada here and I'm gonna start by adding some crema. We're gonna add some ham to it. And here I have my nopales that it's strained. So I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm just gonna scoop it on there without grabbing like the onion or the garlic because that was just there to season it while it was boiling. And then I'm going to add my salsa on top. So that's gonna give it a good cake of flavor. And this, is what my tostada looks like. Espectacular. I loved it. Having a fresh tortilla and then turning it into a tostada, I feel like makes everything taste so much better. So good. The bottles taste great. I'm only giving myself a nine out of 10 on this meal. Okay, I got my mom on the phone. What did you think of the food? I think it looks nice. Perfect for the summer. And my Jamaica? Your Jamaica looks delicious. Thank I you. Like it is. This next recipe is like a little appetizer before dinner that I'm gonna make. It's my grandfather's oyster appetizer recipe that he makes, it's smoked oysters. They are so good. My grandfather, um, he actually passed away about 20 years ago. I'm gonna chop everything up. With the oysters, you have to drain them and then put them in the bowl. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys how to do it. Once they're all drained, this is what they look like. They don't look appetizing. So I put the oysters in here. Now I'm gonna cut up avocado and put lemon and tomato and onion in it. So this is what it looks like 
and the final. It, I know it doesn't look super appetizing, but it tastes delicious. So you just like grab some chips and you eat it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Arms up. It's so good. I'm making cheese rellenos for dinner, but I'm also gonna be making flan de nuez at the same time because flan de nuez takes about an hour to make. So while that's being done, I can work on chiles rellenos. Two eggs for this little container. We're gonna do half of la lechera. We're gonna do a cup of nuts and then some milk. While the water's boiling, we have our little flan container. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some sugar and I'm just gonna coat the bottom of it so that way when you flip it over, it has that like nice caramelized like texture to it. And it's just a little bit to coat the pan itself because it's gonna melt. So what my grandma does, you see how this pot is boiling? We're gonna move it back here. We're gonna take our flan bun and we're just gonna also put it up here to melt the sugar. You see how it looks and how that has that nice caramel color to it? We love to see it. Out of the lid and we have to make sure that these little holes um, are open so that the hot water from our pot that is cooking the flan doesn't get caught and doesn't get like wet and stuff. So we're gonna leave it on medium heat for about an hour, but we have to keep making sure to check that there's still water in there. So for chiles rellenos, this is essentially what you need. I have two chiles pasillas, I have queso oaxaqueña, two and a half tomatoes, onion, and then some garlic that we're gonna use today. So first things first, we're just gonna fry these little things. I'm not fry, but just like grill them a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna keep rotating until, just how like the tomatoes from earlier today, they get a little bit of like black crispiness to them. See these little black spots, we love that. So what we're gonna do now, this is a trick my grandmother literally showed me how to do like recently. So I, I've never done this before. And peel all this little black stuff off. We're gonna put it in a little bag. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and supposedly it's gonna like all come off. I'm just gonna shake it. It's a lot of salt in these. So now we're gonna make the tomato sauce that kind of goes with the cheetahs rellenos. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. When I say a little bit, expect like a lot of salt because I love salt. And then we're gonna add some oregano leaves. We're just gonna do one little sprinkle. I don't really like oregano that much, but if my grandma makes it that way and that's how it's gotta go, you know? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the pan to boil. And then while that's going on, I'm going to continue to peel the chiles I'm gonna add Oaxaca cheese to it and then we're gonna add it to the pan and we are almost there. We're gonna let that sit and boil for a little bit. So like this is how the peppers came out of the bag. A lot of it has already been, been peeled off by the salt and all I wanna know is what kind of witchcraft is this? So I took the seeds out from inside. I don't think I did a very successful job. I put the cheese in there. I kind of stuffed this one a little more than this one, but um, that's fine. So now what we're gonna do we're gonna grab these guys. I'm gonna put them in the salsa. So I'm gonna let it boil and then I'm gonna cover it for like 10 minutes and check on them. So this is what it came out looking like. It's not exactly how my grandma makes it. I'm gonna call her and see what she thinks. Ah, güey, te quise enseñar mis chiles rellenos. Ah, sí, te quedaron perfectos, mija. Gracias. My beso. Ay, qué bonito me dio mi amor. Wow! Gracias. Bye. Bye. She said I looked perfect. She said my hair looked great. So, favorite meal of all time. So I really hope I made it well. When I tell you this tastes so good, this tastes so good. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. Let's go check on the flan. A little water right there. I'm just gonna soak it up with a paper towel so it's not super liquidy. We still have water down there, which is good. So I'm just gonna leave it in for 10 more minutes and then it's gonna be perfect. Okay, you guys, it is time. I'm literally so excited for this. Oh, 
I'm also like terribly scared. Oh no, you know what my grandma does? She puts the plate over the flan thing. Ah! Oh my God, look. <gasps> okay, so chunks of it, chunks of it came out. But you know what's important is it's gonna taste delicious. Wow. I'm not saying I'm ready to be a housewife, but this cooking that I did today, phenomenal. I'm gonna go show my grandma. Ah, wey, hice el flan. Mira cómo me quedó. Bueno, o sea, está feo, pero sabe riquísimo. Gracias, abue. Today was lovely. It was beautiful. I feel like I really like connected with my my family today like in a special way the fact that i got to talk to every one of them and like show them my creations and they're like super excited and super proud of me and like it just made me super happy i feel a lot closer to home now being able to make all those recipes that my grandmas make me and my mom makes me all the time you know and like just having those little pieces of them like here with me my favorite part of being mexicana being latina is like the food, it's the culture, and like, it just goes to show that like, food is a great way to connect people, to connect family together, and go make your grandma's food, cause it'll make you feel a lot better. So, eat up, bone, ap bone apple teeth. Follow like.